Yeah, I hate that Zuckerberg. Such a goon. Put that on there. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Todd Inger Madsen from Black Cat Bicycles in Aptos, California. This is my shop. I've been building bikes for 11 years and originally I started building bikes uh, simply because I wanted a custom bike and couldn't afford one and I had some friends with some tools that let me borrow them and um, started building and quickly became addicted to it and some friends wanted some bikes and one thing led to another and I've been building ever since. Now while um, while I build all kinds of bikes, I think one of the things that attracts me to bikes is the freedom that they offer, the ability to just hop on a bike and go somewhere, have it take you somewhere, take, take you on an adventure. I'm lucky that I have customers that understand that it takes time to do things right and that the way I do things is one step at a time. So I think I think I'm I found myself in a pretty good spot. And so I work by myself. It's a one man shop. There's nobody breathing down my neck except for the other customers in line <laughs> that are waiting for their bike. But at the same time I think they all understand and they all appreciate that I'm working on that one bike at a time and when their bike comes up my full attention will be on them and their bike so I think they appreciate that. No, I think the thing that really keeps me going is trying to make each bike better than the last um, and that's a, a personal quest if you want to call it that but it really is trying to make each bike a little bit better than the last. A little bit straighter, a little more attractive, paint a little smoother, the lines lining up just right. That's the goal. High school art class was pretty important to me when I was growing up um, and it really kind of saved me from dropping out of high school and I think that today with the emphasis on math and science there's a lot of funding that's being cut from humanities programs and art programs uh, in the high schools and in the public schools in general and I think it's, I think it's a good thing to teach kids art and uh, to expose them to that. Uh, the root word for humanities is human and if we take that out of kids education it makes me nervous to, <laughs> to think about where we'd go. So yeah when I heard of Easton putting together this dream bike raffle it seemed like a really good opportunity for me to give back to the community of high school art teachers that are struggling to make things happen. Um, the money that comes from this will go directly to helping high school kids uh, get the resources and supplies that they need. Yeah, for the, the price of a burrito, you can get this bike that's totally dialed, ready to go. And the worst that happens is your five bucks goes to a really good cause. The best thing that happens is you get this bike. you might get a veggie fajita. One veggie fajita for five bucks. Super burrito, no way. <laughs>